all right good morning everyone welcome back to TLC online training and we'll today we're continuing our Photoshop introduction series and today we'll be looking at blend modes in Photoshop in Photoshop there's something called blend modes uh, in some context it is called transfer modes either way let's jump right into it file let's create a new Photoshop document quickly our uh, usual way file new then we get this dialog let's go to print you know I always like to go to print um, let's take later that's fine and landscape orientation um, okay let's probably have add birds checked and hopefully that allows to create more than one ad but when we need it later all right um here let's just have the name as plain modes and create okay my system a bit slow this morning i don't know why all right welcome back so um we'll be looking at blend modes like i said and this is it right here this is how you get to photoshop blend modes so we have this normal do self darken multiply color bond linear bond and all the way down to you saturation color and luminous there's another blend mode that is often not on the list by default unless you do something that you know that um, makes it come out sort of that one, the one is called pass through but it's not one that you can find by default you have to really uh, have some setup or must have composed your canvas in a certain way to make that one come out so we won't be dwelling much on that one for that reason okay so quickly let's um, we're gonna approach this by creating by using our shape tools just to create a few shapes and we're gonna be using different values of um, gray scale of gray in in our approach and later we're going to use colors there's a reason we're using those values of gray because as I have shown us or I've tried to show us in this series that values color values are very important you know well let me just duplicate this the way I taught us to duplicate it before so there we go duplicate it like that and yeah for this one press on you fill also like that foreground color we just created there and v to go back to a move to so now i'm gonna overlap this now watch what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna overlap this um i'm gonna use our alignment from the status bar to just align vertically that way now i'm gonna add a blend mode to I'm going to try and blend this top layer with this bottom layer right here just this light gray with this darker gray so um, what you're trying to do in Photoshop is in using blend modes you want to apply what you're really doing is blending two layers together and if you want to blend two layers you apply the blend sort of to the top layer so in this case we're gonna apply the blend to this top like uh, like a gray layer so this is normal which means there's absolutely no blending involved right now so I'm just gonna go through this dissolve which I'm not gonna dwell on because it's just gonna see okay so it's not doing much right now hopefully we'll get something that shows dissolve more later so let's go straight to backing all right so already if I use darken 
here see what's going on there means the part where there's two because okay there's something I probably should have mentioned before coming here the blend will happen where there is an overlay of two layers and that's why you see I've not put this completely overlaying one another I've tried to you know create some sort of intersect so the blend will happen where there is an intersect okay so if I have that in there there's absolutely nothing happening it's just going to darken that intersect picking the and uh, the dark from the background now if I reverse that if I was to reverse the other of these layers and then I put the dark in on the outer layer you see it's still gonna be pretty much the same thing because I'm pretty I'm asking for a shop to favor the darker layer whenever I use darking I'm asking Photoshop to favor the darker layer so Photoshop is going to have more of the darker layer showing true showing true so that's what's going on with darking and that's just I'm using this gray scale to teach the theory of the concept and then when we're done we're not going to use we're going to use colors and we're try, going to try and use images and that's going to it's going to make a lot more sense what I'm trying to do or what we are trying to like learn here so multiply this is the way multiply works multiply tries to take a bit of this a bit of that and create a completely new value of colors and I say colors because when you're using when you're blending two layers especially especially two layers that are images then there are going to be several colors trying to interact so basically what Photoshop does is it tries to take both layers and mix them up and create uh, compose something darker than either of the two layers and that's what I'm trying to show us here just so we understand that let's go to the next one color bomb color bomb does something similar to uh, multiply but if there is a brighter layer it's totally discards the brighter layer keeps the darker layer but then still shows the the mix it allows you to see the mix going on um some of them are i'm probably not gonna be go deep into explaining it i'm just gonna show us what's really going on and we're gonna really we're gonna see what's going on see in this what Lillian Bond does is it creates that that blend is really dark it creates another value of colors that's really dark and still shows the lighter and darker layers or values of colors most times when you're blending layers you're gonna have the layer completely overlap like this or almost overlapping completely so for educational purposes I've you know open them up this way so we can see how the blend or the mix of colors is happening here's what darker color does it's simply saying take the darker values and show them and that's why you see that this is the the, um, the first layer here or maybe the bottom layer here has the darker values and all it just shows that sorry I think I'm back to normal there okay good now so this is a group all behaving similarly now let's go to this group lighting basically oh sorry um, a little problem there let's keep applying it to that top layer okay lighting good so lightning tries to do the opposite of what some of this first group do in that it tries to create a mix where there is that overlapping it creates a mix or a new value of colors but this time around it brightens them it tries to create a new value but a brighter value this time around so screen 
screen basically what screen does is it shows it shows the layer behind now we apply screen on this and it tries to get this background this canvas that's what screen is trying to do there color dodge basically creates a very bright mix and since our layer was really bright gray so the color dodge is creating a much brighter gray for us so we get this completely white here now but in mixing of um, when you're mixing pictures two picture layers or uh, two layers that are of which you have lots of colors composed then you're gonna get brighter things but you know some of the colors will retain not not this completely gone this is what linear dodge would do and lighter color would do basically this group brightens the over the blend this group darkens the blend that's just what's going on this group picks the darker values while this group picks the brighter values now let's get to this ones these are the commonly used groups within this group the most the most commonly used is the screen within this group multiply is the most commonly used followed by color bond i'm just trying to like let us see mm, what we're going to be using for most of our career design careers mostly from this gr first group you're going to find yourself using multiply a lot and then maybe color born if you're um, adventurous as a creative uh, as a creative if you're adventurous you're gonna uh, gonna, gonna try your eyes with color born a lot and probably not use those other ones as often and from this second group you're gonna use screen a lot and maybe lighten and you probably not touch all of this as long as far as photoshop is concerned anyway now from the entire in your career one overlay and soft light these two you're going to use a lot and this is what overlay does too it creates a br um, brighter values of the colors where the mix is happening it creates brighter values of the colors so if you add yellow yellow is going to be brighter if you add blue blue will be brighter if you add green green will be brighter that's just what's going to happen and say this was yellow and this layer is blue of course it's going to create a blend of green but a really bright green that's just it soft light just softens things out add light yes vivid light i'm just going to run through the rest by showing us what's going on the difference obvious what it's doing it's taking our really bright color and reversed it it's like you know having a positive five and then reversing it to a negative five that's what's going on there so exclusion still that reverse going on on our original layer but now it's creating a brighter it's creating brighter values where the mix or the blend is happening subtract okay so that's what subtract is doing divide you saturation color and luminosity luminosity on any um, on any layer it's always gonna look like um, grayscale so a way for you to create grayscale uh, without actually coming to create grayscale from your modes here is to apply a luminosity blend on your layer and you're gonna get a grayscale you, you, you understand that not more when I begin when we begin to work with colors so that's just the theory basically I'm gonna go back to normal here that's the theory that's what's going on 
that Photoshop is basically blending values of colors and that's why I've used grays and this gray object here because they represent color values in a way so let's let's change the colors of our objects yeah let me put a blue on that one and on this one sorry on this first layer let's put a yellow maybe golden yellow there about um, let's try to mix again and see if notice that everything within this group tries to either discard the brighter value or create a darker version. I was saying something about blending blue and yellow. Naturally um, basic art or shall I say pre even preschool art teaches that green and yellow mix to make green and that's still what's happening here i mean blue and yellow mix to make to make a green color and that's what's happening here the blue the yellow mixing up and creating a green so basically multiply the same thing only a darker green because it creates darker values this is going to create still the darker value but discard the top layer because it's a bright value obviously linear button so i'm just going to run through and show us what's going on again lighting so i said that that it's the re this the colors here i mean the blends here or blend modes here are basically the reverse of the blend modes here and the blend modes here are like the special ones <laughs> So, screen, like I said, we try to show the layer below. Color value, I mean, color dodge, cleaning dodge, burner, color overlay, supply. I'm just going to run through this and show us how all of these work. Okay, there we go. Exclusion, subtract, divide. U saturation color luminosity luminosity is always clear in black and white things I mean grayscale sort of okay back to normal one more time I'm gonna revert change the colors up before this time I'm gonna use um green maybe dark green I'm going to try to use two dark values as opposed to two bright values from the previous work. There we go. So I think those are dark enough. So now let's bring blend still the same darker, darker, and cutting off that original layer. And that's what color band does all the time, doesn't it? So we can see. The output are similar. To when we were using brighter colors. Because in the way this is really mathematical. Okay. There we go. Now let's try to import some images. I'm gonna place linked because I don't want this file to be heavy. I'm gonna use some of those pictures I've used before. Okay. Um, you know, let's bring this in first. Press enter. Let's go back and place linked again. And this time probably one of the one I'm doing with snail came from one of my classes on after effect okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna scale this down just like so 
okay then we're gonna apply a blend first of all I'm gonna apply uh, a mask if you don't know how to apply masks I suggest you watch the video on masks so good let's apply max right there first then let's try to blend this top layer into the bottom layer multiply color burn green color darker color just brightening things screen color dodge there we go overlay depending on what you're trying to do but overlay and soft light uh, are popular with Photoshop artists I'm adventurous so a lot of times I use a light I like how it's punchy you know and that's that's the effect you get every time you use ad light really you get punchy sometimes the colors wash but when the colors don't wash you get really punchy punchy effects you know, colors are punchy you not know, like that and when I'm trying to create something I want it looking all I want it to look like um, a visual art or something I use either of these three So yeah, I was saying something about luminosity and I said grayscale. I think the word I should have used is monochromatic. So luminosity is always giving off a monochromatic effect. So yeah, that there I've corrected myself. So yeah, that's what luminosity does. Often gives off, give off a monochromatic effect. So that's that's about it. That's about it with blend modes. So try blend mode out when you're working of course we're gonna work on projects later in this course and all of this knowledge that we're learning piece by piece are gonna come together and really tie in our projects we're gonna have one class where or, or, or two classes or two videos where we we work on projects um, flyer projects or banner projects and some other projects maybe um, uniform design or something like that so yeah we're gonna come up with, with really interesting projects to work on where all of this knowledge is gonna tie together and you're gonna see the power of um, blend modes the last time in the last video we looked at layer styles and let's just bring that up and we can see that even here we have blend modes doing something there maybe overlay screen no soft light yeah let's just soften things a bit probably put a blend mode on this too sorry the layer style on that so it, we can get this really cool effect so you see already we're getting some really interesting if effects just by using blend modes and we're we're tweaking up our photos we're diving into the realm of photo manipulation here which is a different video so I'm not gonna go further with this video so yeah um, feel free to comment and ask any question and I will do my best to respond to questions and yeah thank you for watching this video till next time bye bye